Hello, I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to make a quick video addressing two misconceptions people have about cooking for contribution points. And while we're at it, I'm also gonna show you a few tips and tricks to help you with cooking for CP. So let's get started. As you may know, during cooking we have a chance to drop an item called Witch's Delicacy and you can turn those in for CP. On average you can expect about 236 witches every 10k crafts, but there is some heavy heavy variance. Sometimes you cook a whole utensil and get no byproducts and other times you get flooded with them. It's just RNG. So of course we want to get our hands on as many witches as possible, kinda like in the middle ages. And just like in the middle ages, there are certain superstitions about witches that may or may not be true. So let's address them. Misconception number one, witches delicacy are affected by your cooking mastery, and that is one part truth and one part myth. For once, the actual drop rate of witches is completely independent from your mastery. Okay, but how can you be so sure? It's easy, just start a call for data in the Lifeskill Discord and a few months later look at the over 50 million crafts worth of data people have submitted. And as you can see here, the drop rate is just about the same at every mastery bracket. However, that doesn't mean you should throw your mastery gear out of the window when cooking for CP. Cooking mastery still affects how many byproducts you can get in an hour. That's because mastery grants a chance to trigger a mass craft, so completing 10 crafts at once. And the more crafts we complete per hour, the more witches we get. So priority number one when cooking for witches should be to get your cook time as low as possible, down to the minimum of one second. And that's why I recommend to use silver and butter clothes to minimize your cook time, unless you can get one second with mastery clothes in that case you wanna use them instead. And with that cover, it's time to address misconception number two, which states that witches delicacy drops are influenced by the recipe you're cooking. And you've likely come across different versions of this. You know, one guy in your guild says that the big recipes like meals yield more byproducts, while another guy is adamant that cheaper recipes without a rare proc like vinegar have the highest drop rate. So which one is it? Well, now you can point them to this document which clearly shows that every recipe from the low level recipes like vinegar to the big meals all have the same drop rate for witches. So as a consequence, all that we care about when cooking for CP is how easy it is to spam out the recipe. And that's why recipes like vinegar or essence of liquor are great choices because they have easy to get materials and they're light, so you can cook longer without running out of weight. Now before I leave you, I wanna give you a quick tip. To maximize your CP gains, here's something you can do. When you're AFK for a long time or leave your PC on overnight, you can grab a Supreme utensil or the new Morning Light utensils, which have a ton of durability, load up on the materials and just let it go while you're AFK. And when you come back, you get a nice pile of byproducts. All right, and that's it for the video. It was actually a nice change of pace from the usually more highly produced videos I make, and I might make more quick and fun videos like this in the future. In any case, I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.